tried to do a Twitch stream, but I'm very excited to be back. Um, I do believe that it should have started properly, but let me check just to be sure. Um, I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. I have the stream pulled up to the side, so I think it should be working. This is definitely a mystery for me, but let me go ahead and try it. Um, ah, yes, I am live. Yay! Awesome. All right, so we are going to be playing Fallout New Vegas today. Fallout New Vegas is a little bit of an older game, at the very least compared to some of the games that I've played before, but I'm very excited. So let's hop right on into it. Um, I have learned from my last little attempts at live streaming, and um, I, I'm unsure if my audio is working. That's definitely a big question. Um, if you can hear me, let me know. Um, that way I know for sure. But yeah, um, I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. Um, I don't know how many people are going to be able to make it today. Um, this is the first time I've streamed in a little bit, and last time I was streaming it was during the summer, so we're definitely going to be beginning a new adventure. Um, I went ahead and I configured with the audio settings and stuff, but let me go ahead and uh, lower those just a little bit more. Um, hey Jessica, can you hear me? Because I am unsure if my audio is working. Um, but yeah, we are going to be beginning a new game today. We are going to be beginning from the start. We're going to be watching the cutscene and the opening. And it is very warm in my apartment, so if I start to sweat, uh, let me know. We are going to be playing the opening cutscene, and the opening cutscene does have a little bit of blood. But, um, okay, cool. Everything's working? Yeah! That's fantastic. Um, the opening cutscene has a little bit of blood in the beginning, um... But yeah, also, I hope everyone stays hydrated. Um, I have allergies, and for some reason they've been kicking my butt today, which they usually don't. <laughs> but yeah, I am excited to be back. Um, we're going to watch the opening cutscene, and we are going to go ahead and dive on into our adventure in the Havita. Yeah. Um, if you're going to ask me questions about geography, I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now. I know nothing about geography. It's one of the only ways in which I am very American. But yeah, um, my glasses work a little bit nervous. I'm gonna have to clear those up. But yeah, um, <laughs> the yeah is cute too. <laughs> but yeah, um, all right, cool. This is the opening cutscene. Every Fallout game, I think every Fallout game has one of these. Um, Fallout 4 is a little bit different, but. Um, I've actually only played a few Fallout games during my life. Um, if you can hear the game, let me know too, because that is pretty important. Um, you should be able to War. hear the game. War I never think. changes. Who knows? I, atomic fire I am unable to sit down and watch so the live stream at the same walls. time as everyone else. I have to when they open, use, um, at least like I'm unable to hear it, because I only have one set of headphones, and if I were to use both, um, it wouldn't tribes. go very well. I'd be very disoriented. But yeah. I as hope that everyone passed, is having a wonderful day today. I know I am. I'm very excited to be back. It's definitely different for Dedicated me to be to back. Um, I stopped the live streaming life. over the summer because I got a new job and my hours grew, have shifted so, so I'm actually able to stream. Um, yeah, Seeking and this is just a little wealth, open cutscene. Um, I actually can't close the closet door and if you ever come over to my apartment you'll see why. Um, I have organized the stuff inside of the closet just badly enough that I can almost way. close it, but I can't quite close it permanently, which annoys me. In every single live stream I think I've ever done in this apartment that I've shown my face, that closet door has been open. But across um, the Colorado, it is unfortunate, though, because it seems like something is going to come out of it and spook me. And we hate that here. Slaves, but yeah, from um, the conquest I hope people can hear tribes, the game. Um, I tried to lower it so that I wasn't able, so that like, it wasn't overwhelming, because in my experience, onslaught. usually the first time the I live stream a game, like ever, there's always really Across bad the audio stuff. Um, 
campfires. The burn. normal game is this drums. overwhelmingly loud. It is incredibly loud in my Through ears, it all, even though I made Vegas it almost mute. So, under the control Jesus of its Christ. mysterious overseer. Um, I will try and change the, the game audio when um, we get to the character creation. So hopefully that curry, is the thing that we're able hired to by do. The Mojave Express to deliver a we are very to professional Vegas over strip. here at Luciano Gaming what Incorporated. Like a LG has I, taken a turn yeah. <laughs> for the world. We're very good, very professional Let's Players with our Got perpetually open positors. So and our inability in to master Valley. game audio. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? But yeah. Um, now we're about to see the beginning. Um, spoiler alert. Whatever out. sort of character we create, we the beginning of this game is not a fun time for Maybe cons uh, kill people they, without looking them, in the face. he, him, she, but her. I think. Dig. Also, unfortunately, in this game, you can't be gender neutral. At least I don't think you can. I'm going to check in a few minutes. Um... But yeah, this Sorry is you got really twisted up loud. in the scene. I'm surprised at like it just how loud it is. From where is. you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Also, that guy that's talking right now Truth is Chandler is. Bing and friends. The game was rigged from the start. Oh no, don't do it. Oh, hate it here. Game over. Sorry guys, this is just a really short let's play. Goodness, this is loud. Okay, I just went and skipped that part because that was that was probably a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, uh, we're about to hop right on into the character creation screen. Um, this game is really good about that. It's not like some other games where you take a little bit to create your character. You start off just creating your character from the get go. Okay, is the normal? Is this the normal game audio? Because this should be fine. Tell me how that sounds to y'all. Maybe it was just the, like the cinematic that was mind-bogglingly loud. <laughs> Hate it here. <laughs> All right, so um, we should be able to change our name in a few minutes. But for right now, what should our name be? If you're here early on, um, that's awesome. There, that's one of the perks to stopping by the first episode of a let's play. You get to help me create the character name. And help me create the character, especially in RPGs. Um, let's see. What should I what should I name this man or lady? Hmm. I'm honestly unsure. I'm gonna go ahead for right now and I'm gonna say that uh, his name that their name is gonna be Can I Wow, it's not letting me. Um, generic McGun. Okay, there. <laughs> he has a very he has a very fancy name. <laughs> uh, no, Valen. Okay. Uh, let me go over here. I I am going to respect democracy, and I'm going to name him that very silly name that Jessica just suggested. But I'm going to give him an equally silly last name. Um, let's see. Hmm. McStick. There. Oh, uh, no, there's character limits. Um, dang it. Hate it here. Um, Valentois. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> um, what should, what should his last name be? Hmm. Valentois Stick. There. Um, we're gonna get to go to the character creation screen in just a second. Um, so yeah. <laughs> This is Doc Mitchell. He's a nice man. Um, depending on the sort of let's play that we go through, he might meet a very not nice end. Okay. So, we're gonna hop on over to the character creation screen in a second. Come on. Yep, there it is. Alright, cool. Show me, show me the damage. Should he be, um, should our character be a man or a lady? Um... These are, and this, so, okay, in Fallout, the different, like, genders have different effects on the game, um, most notably in the form of a few perks, which are things that you can get every even-numbered level up, and also in the form of a few dialogue options. Um, your character can um, just not do sexy things with people, but your character can also do sexy things with both men and women. Um, it just depends on the sort of, like, 
person that you are and whether or not that's something of interest to you. Um, I think for right now, we're gonna run with the man. I'm pretty sure that we can go back and edit this. I'm also pretty sure that if I remember correctly, you should be able to edit this one last time before you actually leave Doc Mitchell's house. So for right now, we're gonna make this person very silly. Um, I want to go ahead and customize. I want to make this man absolutely ridiculous. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's see how. Let's see how thick or thin we can make him. Hmm. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Cool. For some reason, my mouse is acting up there. Uh, I'm gonna make his forehead ridiculous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he has a very angry expression just by default <laughs> honestly that's a mood also like his beard game is strong and i'm gonna be completely honest i can definitely appreciate it um <laughs> okay <laughs> Let's see. There really should be an RPG where instead of playing a game, you just, like, the whole point is to create an equally, like, the most ridiculous looking person possible. That's the entire game. Just one very long character creator. Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> Uh, I think it's been it's been too long since I have played um, games because I'm not gonna lie this is killing me right now just this man's face I'm looking at it and I'm like your mouth is ridiculous <laughs> let's see uh, okay I think uh, I'm gonna look at his cheeks because that can definitely be abused uh, let's see let's take a look over here yeah <laughs> okay so there that's that um oh wait no i wanted to customize um oh that's just his face okay what if i made him very old it's really weird to me that like the way that this game looks at age <laughs> Look at this absolute unit. <laughs> Love it here. <laughs> I'm surprised that there's only so much you can customize in this one. Like, you can't customize, like, his body or anything. You can only customize his face um, and his hair. Okay, um, and now his hairstyle, let's see, let's go through all the options, um, clean cut, I actually like that one, but that's too normal looking, we don't want to have, uh, like, the whole point of this is to create a person who looks very silly, um, so I want to look for the most ridiculous one, <laughs> look at this fucking anime protagonist, <laughs> no hair, that's always, that's always a good option. Um, <laughs> you're, oh, you're still in class? Aw, oh, poor baby. <laughs> I hope the class is going well. What you told me about that person's class will forever, like, turn me against them. Because I'm just like, ooh, that is some shit that is, that is some shit that is guaranteed to piss me off. Um, okay, so, let's see. Hmm. Which one of these hairstyles should we give our character? Um, I do kind of like the anime protagonist one. <laughs> he's over here on the power of friendship, and he's ready to kick some ass. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Uh, comb over. I do like the comb over, though, because it's so little hair. <laughs> Okay, I think that for right now we're gonna stick with the anime. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I like how champagne is just like their way of saying silver. Um, let's see. Uh, she has whimsical ideas because she's never taught in person. <laughs> you shouldn't be roasting this fucking education professor this way. I mean, it's true. You can definitely tell that she's never taught in person based off of her ideas. But, like, it's also really funny to me that she's never taught in person, because, like, I've taught in person, um, and I've taught in all, like, grades except for college. 
So I have more teaching experience than this lady does, at the very least in-person teaching experience. Um, we're gonna stick with the anime, uh, so far. Okay, survivalist, he's got the Luciano look, just like a more silver foxed version of it. Um, the rough beard, the goatee, let's see. Um, <laughs> I do think that I'm gonna keep him with the Luciano look, um, but I'm not entirely sure if that's what we're gonna end up going for. Um, so for right now, let's see, um, for, but never, just a degree in education and vibes. Honestly, like, if that was an option, I think that I would have gotten that degree. It just like, um, Machi <laughs> I like how the Machiavellian is just like, it's like a little stubble. <laughs> Daddy-o. <laughs> Let's see. Because the character creation is so much, like, less intense than I thought it was going to be, we actually probably are going to get a good amount of stuff done in this episode, or in this, like, stream. I also, if I, goodness, I think that I've set it up properly so that I should be able to actually, um, like, have it recorded. And if I have it recorded, I'm definitely going to, like, put it on YouTube because I think it'd be really fun to have, like, a YouTube place where it's just like, hey, here's where you can find me. Um, we're definitely gonna keep him with the Luciano look, the LL, um, <laughs> just because I think it's funny. <laughs> All right, yeah, um, this is my man now. I love that for him. <laughs> We're gonna get to decide our stats in a second. If you're, if anyone is ever like watching this back later on, and they ever wonder why I'm like looking off to the side, the reason I am looking off to the side is because that's where I have my second computer, which is where I can see my chat. All right, cool. Now we're gonna walk around for a little bit. We are, um, we're ambulatory. I think that's the word. Hell yeah. So this is how you decide your stats. Um, your stats are pretty important for a number of reasons. Um, I am unsure of like what stat score we're gonna give ourselves. Um, I think that we're gonna keep our strength average. Um, we're gonna keep, we're actually gonna put our perception down a point because there's a perk that lets you, there's a thing that you can do that lets you like raise it and I'm gonna do that um, it this is uh, this is on me we're talking about so you know that we got to get that we got to get that charisma up, baby um, so yeah and then we're gonna have our intelligence up a point too um, this is a very basic like character it's just that I personally I've always really liked high charisma characters um, I am extremely charismatic I am a little bit intelligent, and that's it. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's how people see me. Um, I hope that's how people see me, because that's how I'd like to be seen. Highly charismatic, a little bit intelligent, average, and everything else. Um, now, I'm going to be the one psychoanalyzing the doctor. <laughs> he, needs to, he needs to tell me how he feels. <laughs> I do not want to sit on the couch. I would like for him to sit on the couch. Um, unfortunately, I think that goes against like his teachings, so I guess I'm just gonna sit down on the couch. He's gonna ask me some questions about feelings, and um, dog, okay, so the first one was dog. Um, we are going to go with train, house. Um, we are going to view that. Um, should we should we be capitalists in this let's play and say that like we want to invest in houses um, or should we be nice people and say that we want to renovate the houses hmm I'm gonna go with renovate um, let's see night let's see I'm gonna go dream bandits um, 
it's really funny when i was younger when i first got to reasonable i thought that like the way that they were like thinking about this was that like you were gonna say that the bandit was reasonable in the sense like you could talk to them and that like you could probably reason them out of like not stealing all of your stuff but now that i think about it as like an adult the way that this probably works is like if you say reasonable odds are the person who's asking you the question is going to be like yo that just means that you really like bandits and i don't think that that's science um so we are gonna go ahead and say hmm, we're gonna say swiss cheese um let's see and then inspiration for light um let's see <laughs> let's just go with caretaker let's see conflict of sin in my nature i'm gonna say strongly agree uh i i ain't given to relying on other people for support i'm gonna say no opinion uh, i'm always fixing to be the center of attention strongly agree i'm slow to embrace new ideas strongly disagree um i'd say that i charge in and then let's see this is the last little bit of this hmm this one never really made sense to me but i'm just gonna say uh chemical reaction and then this one i always thought of it as like a rocket ship which i guess um and then let's see i don't know if i just can't see shit because like i look at this and i do not see a mushroom cloud <laughs> okay so let's see so you'd better take a look at the results um, this determines all of your, um, like, stat points. Um, so let's see. I want to take that, um, I'm gonna look through this. Hmm. These are all actually really good ones, but I'm gonna take this out of this, and I'm gonna put this in sneak. Um, I really want one of them to be, like, medicine, too, because I've always really liked the medicine stuff. But that said, um, I think that that's the way that I'm going to keep it for right now. Um, and now we get to pick our little traits. Um, just going to give this thing a second. Um, we're actually almost out of the character creation section, which is a lot faster than I expected us to be. That's very exciting. Um, let's see. Also, I hopped on Twitter for like two seconds, and I... I'm surprised to see people talking about, like, um, Puerto Rico and stuff in my mentions, which is very intriguing. Um, alright, so then, let's see, I need the four eyes one, and then I also need, let's see, Wild Wasteland. Because with Wild Wasteland, you get, like, the coolest encounters in the game, and if you don't have it, then you can't get those encounters. Yeah. Alright, cool. But yeah, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and get on up. I'm going to go and grab some pants. I'm very surprised that he, like, doesn't offer you pants. I can't remember if he, if he does, and just because, like, I can't, um, also, I'm definitely stealing this man's stuff. Sorry, dude. Um, <laughs> open footlocker. I don't need this cup. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this knife. Uh, sugar bombs, pork and beans, all of which is food. I'll be taking this stuff too. Um, we are actually probably going to finish all of the Good Spring stuff today. Um, which leaves me positively shook. I could have sworn this takes longer. I, I guess I'm just used to like character creation stuff taking forever. Um, can I? I guess I can't sneak yet because I'm pressing all the buttons and no sneaking is happening. Oh. But I did press the, I did press the button that turned off the auto run. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. Um, all right. So we're right now we're just ransacking the nice man who saved our lives house. Um, so I don't know what sort of a character we're gonna be doing in this um, let's play. Hey Tria, I hope you're having a good time. Um, right now we have already created our absolute unit of our character um this is him we're probably not gonna change how he looks his name is valentois stick 
Um, the first name was Jessica's, and then the second name was, was mine. Um, I wanted to name him something very silly, and in a way I did. Um, but yeah, right now we are just taking food, um, and also detergent, apparently. I already did it, so I'm just, I'm just gonna stick with it. I'm gonna be consistent. Um, I don't know what sort of a man we're making, but he's definitely weird. <laughs> And honestly, this is a let's play from me. There was really no other way he was going to be. Um, so, <laughs> this is gross, but if you activate a toilet, you drink from it. We're not going to do that. Um, but if we were playing, like, Super Survival, then we would need, um, like, water and stuff. I don't think that's what we're going to do. I just, I just don't think that that's what we're going to do. Um... <laughs> All right, so let's see. But yeah, um, Valentois is a very silly name. Um, open gun case. Ooh, cool, laser pistol. Love it here. Um, this game has scientific things and, like, science fiction stuff. Um, so if you have never played any of these games, that's something that you can look forward to, to seeing. Um, my character is probably going to be a very sciencey person. Um, I'm glad that you're feeling alright. Um, take today's decision. Ooh, reading glasses. I can begin to make my character look like an intellectual just as soon as I can customize. Ah, oh, dang, I need the repair to be higher before I can, um, repair that. But that's fine. Alright, so let's see. Is there anything else of importance? I don't think that there is. I just took that paperweight, but I didn't mean to. Um, but yeah, I am glad that you're feeling better. Um, that's very good. Um, don't mind me, I'm just being a ladron, uh, in the words of my people, um, which is Spanish for thief, in case you didn't know. Um, I, a part of me does want to incorporate more Spanish into, uh, excuse you. Excuse you, Skull. I didn't need you to come and just hit me. That's very rude. Um, <laughs> a part of me does want to incorporate more Spanish and stuff into my streams, but I don't know how many people would be here for that because most of my audience is English speaking. What's really funny is that like I have enough Spanish speaking spaces that if I advertised my stuff hard enough, I could probably get way more audience members who spoke Spanish than speak English. So that'd be exciting. Um, Bojangles, it's, it's pretty standard, just chicken and stuff. Um, when the stream's over, I have a pizza that I'm going to go finish eating. I'm very excited. Um, I don't know what the purpose of syringes are in this game. You can probably use them to craft something. So I'm just, I'm just taking them. Uh, my character might turn out to be a kleptomaniac. Um, who knows? All right, I think that's everything. Um, so that means it's time for us to go and finish. Um, you can drink from the toilet or you can drink from the sink. Love it here. <laughs> Fortunately, both of them do not give you radiation. So far, these two specific, this specific toilet and this specific sink do not give you radiation. That is not the case with most of the toilets and most of the sinks in this game. <laughs> if you have never heard of, of the Fallout series, it takes place in a world that has been devastated by a nuclear war, and pretty much everything will kill you. Um... <laughs> At one point, pretty much everything will kill you. We are about to go and become the baby in the wasteland. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm skipping a lot of this audio, but basically, the, the generic backstory for your character is that you were a courier who was given a platinum chip, you were sent to go and deliver it to someone, and you were absolutely stopped. And you should have objectively fucking died, but um, you did not die. It went it went well for you. Um, let me go ahead and activate. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my glasses so I can look like an intellectual. Um, all right, so first we're gonna put on the jumpsuit. Actually, we're gonna put on the lightweight um, armor because it gives us res it gives us damage resistance and we're also going to put on the glasses and then we're going to take a look at ourselves look at this absolute unit of a man with his reading glasses 
<laughs> and his armor. <laughs> and now we are free to explore the world. Yeah. Um, so there is an area outside of here where um, once you walk out far enough from Good Springs, um, you are going to get the question of whether or not you want this to be your full character. And once you do that, your character is locked in. That is the robot that rescued us. Um, he is a cowboy. I don't understand why he's a cowboy. I'm sure there's some backstory stuff that I just don't remember, but he is a cowboy. <laughs> he's a cowbot. There. I have the general subtitles for stuff set on, um, so we should be able to get subtitles. We're going to be able to test it in a second because we're going to go ahead and go on an adventure before we um, run off into the, the wilderness to test our rootin' tootin' shootin' skills. Um, but yeah, um, you're going to get the Supreme. Nice. But yeah. Uh, let's see, and then, alright, never seen a robot like you before. Um, Victor has a really funny, like, quirk where if you, especially in the beginning levels, I think that there's, like, a point where, like, it stops happening if you reach a high enough level without it ever happening, but, like, if you ever get in danger, um, he will come in out of nowhere, especially in, like, this general area. Um, he will come out of nowhere and he'll go be a homie to help you out. Um, Alright, cool. So that's how you sneak. Uh, that's how you punch. Um, we are not going to continue punching. Um, we are going to equip a weapon. Let's see what weapon we have that we can equip. Alright, cool. We have a little pistol. Yeah. Um, Alright, cool. Um, so right now, all the stuff that you're seeing is related to DLC. I got the like Supreme Edition of this game, so that way I have all the DLC unlocked right from the start. Um, I am right now just looking for some enemies to just rootin' tootin' shootin'. Um, we're gonna play this very cowboy-like. Um, that's a little house where there are enemies and there's also like treasure that you can find. I It's the first little dungeon in this game, um, even though it's a house and not a dungeon. Um, in most of the games that I play, dungeons are just dungeons or sometimes they're caves. But, um, in this game, there's lots of caves, not really that many dungeons, <laughs> just because of the setting. Um, so yeah. Also, I usually like to play, like, real, I like to play, like, real cheaty. Um, so this is gonna be fun, because I'm not gonna cheat, and I'm also not using mods. Um, so we're just, we're just doing our best. Let's see. I'm just looking for some enemies. Um, so the way leveling works in this game is different from the way leveling works in, say, Skyrim. Because in this game, killing enemies and doing things nets you experience. And once you have experience, you can level up your skills. Uh, that was an enemy. It's a very big bug. And it's very dead. Um, oh no, they can see me now. Yep, come on. Out of the way. Yeah! Cool. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to go... Oh! Out of here. Get out of here dang it okay <sighs> okay there that should be all of them i am already almost out of ammunition <laughs> hate it here <laughs> let's see um oh nice i'm i'm not happy you had a mad day but hey at the very least you're getting a nice hopefully dinner out of it um I am, I'm excited for dinner after this because I had breakfast and that was all I had today. Um, which isn't usually how it goes, it's just that today I had to do some stuff and because of that I wasn't able to eat, um, lunch. But yeah, alright, so, gonna go ahead, get out of here. There. Dang it. Um, <laughs> guns in my post-apocalyptic game, I hate it here. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this particular game, you can't really reason with the insects. Um, one of the reasons I like Fallout 4 is that, like, you can reason with pretty much every enemy. Um, 
including like ghouls and stuff if you have the right perks um unfortunately in this game that is not a thing that you can do i'm trying to remember if there's mines or anything in here i don't think there are but goodness i might be wrong um also we completely cleared up the house out of like little monsters so now we get to just vibe basically um <laughs> But yeah, this is a post-apocalyptic game. There is, there is, this is a pretty violent game. Um, but let's see. Now we are doing hacking. Um, <laughs> let's see. So that's one seventh correct. Nope. Um, so the way hacking works in this game is really quirky. Um, because if you're about to run out of attempts, what you can do is you can just fucking leave and then come back and it won't lock you out. Um, that will change the, um, that will change the password or whatever, but changing the password's better than getting locked out, because if you get locked out, you have to get, like, a feat to be able to try again, and it is not worth that shit, because that's a, that's a whole ass two levels before you get another feat. Um, that said, there is also a feat in this game where... <laughs> Every time I say feet, I just feel like I'm talking about, like, my personal feet. Um, my F-E-E-T instead of my F-E-A-T. And that is just weird. Um, you can also try it. So, okay. If you open this lockpick, um, if you, if you get this, like, bobby pin, which is another word for lockpick, you can try and unlock this the old-fashioned way, but this one is also electric, and it's keyed into this. And you can just hack this computer, um, assuming that you're able to get it right. Let's see. Okay. So, implies. Okay, we're just gonna hop on out of here. This is Jesus. Um, let's see. I have no problem. Um, so, I, I don't particularly like guns, but also, like, I get why people do like them, personally. Um, I get really annoyed whenever people are weird and are just like, yo, I'm going to use this gun against the corrupt governments because you're probably not going to use this gun against the corrupt governments. Like, we don't live in that era anymore where that was just a thing that people did, especially not successfully, because if you tried to use a gun against the government in real life, that would go very badly for you. So... But I mean, if you need, if you feel like you need a gun for self-defense, I encourage people to know how to use guns. I know how to use guns, um, although it's been a while since I have actually used one in real life. It's been several years. Um, I don't know if I would personally purchase one, but, you know, it, it'd be like that sometimes. Um, Alright, come on, run debug. Alright, there it is. Alright, so let's try it again. That's two sevenths correct. Um, that's four sevenths correct. Um, let's see. That's five. Oh, come on. This is a freaking thing. Um, so let's see. What are these? Oh, that's weird. Um, I checked my cell phone for two seconds, and it turns out the Gmail, um, turns out the Gmail icon has changed. So that was freaky. Um, what is going on with this? Um... <laughs> I'm just trying to get this treasure, you know? And I guess the game doesn't want me to get this treasure. I think that I'm only going to try this, like, two more times before I say, heck it. Um, Alright, so offline is three sevenths correct. There it is. Apparently godlike was the password. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your password, your security is godlike. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay, so now the safe is open. We can go ahead and get the stuff. I'm going to take everything from here. A shotgun. Oh, hell yeah. This this was definitely worth it. Because, like, my favorite gun in this game is are the shotguns. So having a shotgun just right out the bat is actually a different one from the one that I'm using right now. Is just great. Unfortunately, they are not very good for stealth. <laughs> But A, it'd be like that sometimes. So, alright. Um, I think that the rest of the stuff that we're gonna do, probably for the rest of this episode, is the, like, generic 
um, intro stuff that you're supposed to do, or at the very least that like it's encouraged for you to do. Um, there is one, I guess, major quest in this area. There's technically two because there's like the introductory quest, which you can skip most of if you don't feel like doing it. Um, although I think we're just gonna do the whole thing. Um, oh, that's cool, Tria. Um, I am not a sushi person. I don't like any sort of seafood, but I know a lot of people who are super into sushi. And honestly, I'm just happy for them. I'm happy for them when they get sushi. I know that like they like that sort of fancy stuff. And for me, it's just not. That's not it. Um, this is Sunny. She's gonna teach me how to shoot. Um, but yeah, let's see. Um, you. <laughs> All right, so Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Um, now we're going to go ahead. Um, so if you feel like being a huge asshole, you can, like, turn on the people of Good Springs. We're not going to do that because it doesn't have any real value, just, like, objectively. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make my character be, like, the goodest man or whatever, but I don't think I'm going to have him be a dick for no reason. Um... So yeah, let's see. Um, we could we could throw the spears. <laughs> let's see. Hmm. Okay. So oh, that's right. She's gonna give you the gun. I always forget that she gives you the gun. Um, but yeah, we are gonna do the full intro quests just so that way people can see them. Um, a lot of like the people who are in my communities are not the sort of people who would be playing Fallout games. Um, alright, so now we gotta wait and shoot. Nice! Um, alright, so then shoot. Oh wow, I missed. Um, there we go. Let's see. Wow, my aim. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Let's see. Cool. Um, okay, I'm in. Yeah. Now we're gonna go fight some geckos. Uh, we're gonna fucking vibe with Sunny for a bit. Um, Sunny is one of the main protagonists if you are, like, the homie of the village who decides to, like, help out against the bad guys. Um, we're definitely gonna see that quest probably all the way through in today's video, or in today's, like, stream. I also don't know, like, what day of the week I'm gonna be doing Fallout. I kind of want to do Fallout on Fridays, but that's just because I really like alliterations. Um, which is part of the reason why, like, on Tuesdays in the past, I did, like, tabs. Um, you know, tabs Tuesday and that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah. Right now, we're just on our way to go shoot some geckos. They're not very dangerous, but there are geckos later on in the game that can, like, breathe fire. Which... <laughs> it's also our, like, it's also the first, like, canon chance to see the radiated wildlife. If you didn't, um, also, hey, there's a new person who's stopping by. Hope you're having a great day. We are, um, we have created a man, an absolute unit of a man who is currently wearing some armor and he's doing their best. Um, you want a fire breathing gecko as a pet? This fire breathing gecko, like these ones are like people size, and I, I don't think I need that sort of energy in my life. Um, Okay, so let's see. I'm looking for him. I don't remember how on, like, the mouse and keyboard to do vats, so I don't think I'm going to be relying on vats all that often. Um, okay, cool. So there's somewhere over there. Um, let's see. Fire. Oh, cool, we got him. Yeah. Okay, I can press V if I want to go in vats, but I don't really need it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> So that was the first little section of the tutorial down. Um, okay, I... Dang it, I didn't mean to waste that shot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the gecko hide and meat. Um, we're gonna sell that later on. So let's see. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Listen, you can have all the gecko pets you want as the DM. You are like the over gods over god, Tria. <laughs> So let's see, um, there, they're dead, now let's go over to the next section. <laughs> There's two more, it's still need clearing, um, yeah, um, okay, cool, oh, cool, she gives us ammo, love it here, yes, cool, um, in these sorts of games, I tend not to prefer, like, weapons that use ammo, um, which means that I actually like to live dangerously and get really close to my enemies, 
And unfortunately, this game has a really annoying final boss that is, like, fucking impossible to, like, take on in terms of, like, melee. I'm trying to make sure the dog doesn't die. Um, Cheyenne is not looking that great. Um... <laughs> Oh no, Cheyenne's doing fine. Okay, I was kind of worried for a second. Um, I'm glad that you have. Um, I'm glad that you're having a grand time at the expense of our player characters. To be fair, though, I think our player characters are doing pretty solid. I mean, sure, we've sworn like a quiet war on doors, um, but I mean that's just like typical PC stuff, you know. Um, and by PC, I mean player character. I don't mean like politically correct or whatever. Um, <laughs> I feel like I feel like my character would be politically correct. Uh, I'm gonna resurrect that lady in a second uh, because that's a thing that I can do using player commands. I'm not gonna often use player commands. I don't want to resurrect a gecko. Um, get out of here, gecko. Um, all right, cool. I just need to go over here and then just type resurrect. There we go. You're not dead. <laughs> cool. Uh, gonna go ahead and take your stuff. Um, I'm starting to run out of inventory space, which isn't great, but we'll figure that out in a second. Um, we're gonna be able to sell our stuff soon, so it's fine. Um, fortunately, by the time this is over, I'm gonna have, like, a fucking fortune and bottle caps, which is the generic currency of the Fallout universe. Um, cool, here's a little spending money, um, and then she's gonna teach me how to cook. Um, so let's see. Yeah, um... All right, so we need to grab like a bronc flower or whatever. Um, quest added by a campfire. Let me go into vats and see what that is. Stats, perks, general data. Okay, quests. Let's see. Find a brock flower and Xander out. Um, Xander root. I'm doing my best. Um, there we go. Okay, I'm still. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out some of like the finer controls. So if you ever see me just looking really awkward as I like try to uh, finagle stuff to get out of one screen or the other, I promise that's what's going on. <laughs> so yeah, um, I personally like the uh, I personally like Fallout Four more than I like Fallout New Vegas. But the main reason I like Fallout 4 more than I like New Vegas is that I really like settlement stuff. Um, we're going to go ahead and drink some water. And I really like crafting and stuff. So pretty much any game where like you can have a settlement and like you can craft and stuff is a game that's going to be right up my alley. Um, originally tonight I was actually going to play Fallout 4. But then people were just like, hey, you should play one of the other games. And I was like, meh, I like Fallout 4 and I like New Vegas. So, I'll play New Vegas. Um, I have only ever played... Um, this does have monsters. Some of them are pretty scary. Um, in my opinion, the scariest Fallout creature that I know of is in this one. And it's called the Centaur. And I fucking hate this game's centaurs. They're not sexy horse people, if that's what you're thinking. Um, they're horrifying skin monstrosities that look like something that fucking Lovecraft would make up. And I don't remember, like, their exact in-universe origins, but they're, they're like, super mute. They're not super mutants, which are a thing that exists in Fallout. They are, like, super powerful mutated things. And I, I just detest them. Um, I don't remember if you come across one if you just do the main quest line. I'm pretty sure you actually don't come across one. I'm going to ask her where I can find the stuff that I'm looking for because I am struggling um yes Jessica unfortunately it is Lovecraft um all right so I I am done making my character this was that thing that I was mentioning earlier where I was like yo if you go far enough it's gonna ask you if you want to remake your character um my goodness why can't I find the thing that I'm looking for all right cool that's one of them I found the Xander thing, and now I just need to find Brock Root. And since it's Brock Root, um, it's probably in the floor somewhere. So, um, let's, let's look on the floor. <laughs> I completely forgot that she asked you to, like, find the stuff. I thought that she just gave it to you and was like, also, like, hey, here's how you cook. 
um, which is like kind of what she's teaching you. She's teaching you how to use the campfires, um, which unless I don't know, I've played through this game dozens of times, and like unless you're like really into RP, I don't think that I've ever really needed to use a campfire personally. Um, if I have a high enough, like, survival-based character, it's helpful, I guess. But, like, even then, it's only a little helpful. Um, I think that odds are one of the next things we're gonna do is I'm gonna show, um, what happens if you try to go the alternate route to get to New Vegas, which is the generic location that you're gonna be going towards if you, like, follow the storyline. Um... The other route is a horrifying death trap if you don't try to go the, like, main way the game wants you to, which is to take that road and just, like, follow it forever. Um, the other way is a horrifying death trap where a giant wasp monster wants to eat your face. Um, so, we're gonna see me die, is what I'm saying. Um, let's see... We're not doing this, like, hardcore Minecraft where, like, if we die, we start over. If we die, it's fine. I'm not very good at video games, so I promise I'm gonna die. Um, if I do it for comedy, I, I personally prefer that. Um, rather than just, like, dying at the hands of some monstrous Mojave dickhead. Where the hell are these roots that I'm looking for? Um, <laughs> that is what I am doing. Find a Brock Flower and Xander Root. Okay, which one of these do I have already? Because that is probably the problem. Okay, so let's see. Um, and then let me check age to be sure. Okay, I have Xander Root. That's the problem. I need to be looking for flowers. Um, unfortunately for me, that doesn't help. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I just look at like those trees or whatever, I'll find what I'm looking for. I'm sure that, like, Sunny, if she were, like, a real person and not a video game character, would probably be wondering what in the fuck is taking so long, and why I'm just wandering around aimlessly. Um, okay, so then that's not what I'm looking for. Goodness. Um, let me go over there and see if that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm very good at wasteland survival. I do think that's what I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure of it, actually. Okay. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> we are very good at video games here at um, Luciano Gaming Incorporated. Um, I'm also going to grab this man's hat. Um, so, if you ever decide to get this game for yourself and you get the Wild Wasteland thing and you ever see that little icon that just appeared at the top for a few seconds, that, like, funny face, um, that is a sign that you've come across a wild wastelands encounter and those are special encounters that you only get by having the wild wastelands trait which was that thing that i got at the beginning of the game so yeah um i'm operating under the assumption that a lot of people who watch this are probably not at all going to be familiar with this game which is probably laughably untrue um most people that i know who are at all into video games have at least a passing familiarity with the fallout universe but, like, I know a lot of people and have a lot of relatives who are also not at all into video games. So, I just, um, I don't want to make the assumption. And, yeah. Honestly, that's, like, the sort of thing that I tend to do when I'm gaming. Um, at the very least when I'm gaming, like, for an audience. Um, I tend to create content that revolves around the idea that the people that are watching probably don't know. And then, if the people who are watching do know, that's cool. So, yeah. Um, I'm still looking for this fucking flower. Um, <laughs> if I felt like using my other computer, I could probably just, like, Google an image of it, but I feel like that'd be cheating. Um, <laughs> so instead, I'm doing this in the dumbest possible way. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, like, a lot of my relatives are not at all into games and have probably never played this game or any of the other Fallout games because Fallout is like a really popular video game in its specific niche um, and not everyone is into the post-apocalyptic RPG FPS niche um, which is like what this game is is a first person post-apocalyptic post RPG 
and that's the sort of game that I'm really into, but, you know, it's not everyone's scene. Um, if I really felt like doing a version of this that was for people who had, like, never played um, this game series, the truth is I'd probably do it in Spanish. Um, and that'd be an interesting experience because I'm fluent in Spanish, but, like, I get really nervous when I speak, um, which is part of the reason... Uh, <laughs> listen, that is a different specific niche. There's only overlap because they're both RPGs, Tria. Um, also, I'm pretty sure they're, like, both by the same studio or something. Uh, same studio or same publisher, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Also, I'm really excited for Elder Scrolls Six, but since we're living in the apocalypse, I don't know if we're ever gonna get it. Um, it might be, like, a really small, ver it might be a really small way to remind people that we live in, like, the end times or whatever, um, that you just, like, don't really get new video games anymore, unless they're, like, indie, which is really cool, but, like, if you're super into, like, the Elder Scrolls or whatever, um, have fun with that shit, um, have fun never getting a new Elder Scrolls game, I guess, um, <laughs> That's a really aggressive energy, but, I mean, honestly, my energy is frequently really aggressive. So, I mean, that's that's a good introduction to me. <laughs> you really want Avowed? I have not checked out Avowed, but I've heard that it looks really good. I still have no fucking idea where to find this goddamn flower. Um, I've been looking all over the place. Um, if we go much further in this direction, we're going to come across an asshole. And I don't really feel like dealing with that asshole's bullshit just yet. Um, also, that wouldn't help us find the fucking flower that we're looking for. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I guess I'll just go over to her and see if I can't end the tutorial right now rather than keep her waiting in this purgatory. Um, okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. I can't end the tutorial. Um, I probably will pull out my phone and figure out where to find this fucking flower, but if someone can find, if someone can just, like, Google where to find the Bronx flowers, because my blind ass is just apparently not able to do it, um, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if someone's selling some, so that's, like, one of the things that I'm tempted to do, um... <laughs> Just go and see if they're, like, in a shop or whatever. But, yeah, um, that is, like, the way to get to um, New Vegas. There is a way that the game kind of recommends, and it's not for you to follow this. Um, if you try to follow this and you're, like, level 1 or level 2, um, then have fun dying. Um, either have fun dying or successfully make a break for it and escape Death Claws. And if that sounds intimidating and difficult, um, even if you've never played this game or have any familiarity with Death Claws at all, that's a really good context clue, because the game definitely does not want you to go that way at a low level. <laughs> it's actually entirely possible to go the Death Trap way and survive. It's just, like, more difficult. And once you get past the Death Trap, you're actually fine. There's only, like, one really specific area that if you try to go, the game will punish you. And they even, like, foreshadow it by having some asshole run up to you and be like, Yo, there's a death claw, so if you don't want to die, um, don't go over there. <laughs> so if you avoid that area, you're fine. Um, it is nighttime. <laughs> I have spent several hours in-game looking for this flower that my ass just cannot find, so... Um, oh no, I heard, I heard the, like, tense music, and in this game there's, like, night stalkers and shit, which are, like, invisible when they want to be for a little bit, so I am kind of worried. I do think that I'm just gonna go and try and buy this flower, but I'm also tempted to just glance at my iPad and be like, yo, help me find a Bronx flower. <laughs> so that way I can get Sunny out of that purgatory. What's really funny is that there's actually, like, another area that I, like, wanted us to explore. Because, like, this town that we're in has, like, different little sections. I actually think that I remember where the flower is. And it's actually where I wanted us to go. But I'm not entirely sure. There's also a cave over here where there's, like, coyotes and shit. 
Um, if I remember correctly, there's like a mutant coyote. So have fun um, dying, probably, if you're a level one baby and you don't find all the super sexy gear. Um, this game tries to like warn players away from specific areas by putting things that will absolutely kill them um, within certain areas. Um, one of the biggest examples is that there's a Cazador over there, and Cazadors, um, one, I'm pretty sure that's the Spanish word for hunter. Um, it actually is. Yeah, it's like the Spanish word for hunter. There are also giant, terrifying wasps demons in this game that are just like mutated wasps. Um, right now, some assholes trying to kill me, so we're gonna deal with them in a second. Uh, let me just see. Okay, so I'm looking. Okay, cool. It's over there. It's a little scorpion. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to go away. Um, thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the bronc flowers are over here. Um, it just took me a second because it's been such a hot minute since I played this game. There's also other scorpions and really annoying, like flying um, giant flies that are gonna come at you and just be a huge pain. Um, so we're gonna deal with them. If I remember correctly, you need a shovel to like fully explore this area, but it's fine. Um, I'm just here for the flowers. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to go away. There. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, there are also other ones, which is the reason why I can still hear the music. Um, I could have sworn they had a ranged attack, but I guess not. <laughs> So also, there is our first site of New Vegas. And if you head down there, you're probably gonna die. Um, at the very least in my current level, unless I felt like going god mode, which I could, but I'm trying to like not be a, a cheater. Um, sometimes I'll cheat when I feel when I feel like um, someone who didn't someone who died shouldn't have died, which is what I did earlier. But, like, usually I'm going to try not to. I could have sworn there was a flower over here. Is it? There it is. Okay, perfect. We got it, guys. Um, <laughs> Tria, no. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we can now head over to Sunny, and it's going to be, like, midnight, and she's going to be like, why in the fuck did it take you so long? And I'm just going to be like, sorry, I'm just a really bad adventurer. That's honestly on me. <laughs> Tria, you can't channel your inner Zal. I rely on you to be like, like, look, Callan can channel her inner Zal. Jess can channel her inner Zal. But, like, I rely on you to, like, help me, like, counterbalance the radiant evil energies that our friends regularly emanate um so if you're channeling your inner evil energy i'm fucked um because then i'm the only person channeling my inner good vibes <laughs> i'm very unsurprised that when i said that there are areas where i'll just absolutely get fucking destroyed um Tria, and also probably other people in the chat later on, or in the comments of this YouTube video when I upload it to YouTube, will probably be like, you should have just done the thing where you die, and I'm pretty sure that's like the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm looking for the campfire. Um, I'm also hoping that I don't get absolutely fucked up by fucking Night Stalkers, but I'm pretty sure they don't spawn over here. I'm like 90% sure they don't spawn over here. Um... <laughs> I usually channel my inner Nazal. I'm not going to necessarily call it my inner Luciano because I am absolutely a dick to people on stream. And by people, I mean, like, enemies. Um, although sometimes it would be kind of fun to be a dick to actual people on stream. Um, but here we go. We're at the campfire. <laughs> okay. Apparently I can't activate it. All right, cool. Um, we're gonna make some healing powder, and now we're gonna be done. Hell yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead... Jesus Christ. Um, Twitch wouldn't... Aw, oh, I hate it here. But yeah, 
um, sometimes. Let's see. Um, this game also has, like, workbenches and stuff for things that are not guns, uh, or for things that are, like, weapons and stuff. Um, there are different skills that govern this. Um, this game is a lot closer to The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, which is another game that I have that we might um, do a Let's Play of. And that one, we can definitely get very silly with the character creator. We were not able to get quite as silly with the character creator as I would have liked with this particular game, which is very disappointing. Um, I'm going in the wrong direction. I'm going towards the danger lands. Um... <laughs> I don't want to go towards the danger lands just yet. I want to finish off Good Springs. And also, I'm probably going to end the stream by getting absolutely fucking murdered um, by going over to the Cazadors. So that way you guys can see a monster that gave me nightmares for several years. <laughs> I'm allergic to bees, and I don't know if that also means that I'm allergic to wasps, but I definitely don't want to find out. I'm pretty sure I'm going in the right direction. Yes, I am. <laughs> I am very good at directions, as you can tell. <laughs> I can't believe that to get the Bronk Flower, I had to go all the way to the fucking cemetery. In-game, that still would have taken me an hour, even if I had gone there straight away, rather than being a dumbass and meandering around the... I don't even know what to call that. I guess the canyon. <laughs> So yeah, um, I also don't think that we're going to make my character sleep or anything. I think that we're just going to do the typical RPG thing, where your character only eats to heal um, and sleeps to heal and stuff. Um, I think that would be fun. <laughs> Maybe the reason my character is so fucking crazy by the end of the stream, or by the end of the game, is just that he hasn't slept in a year or two. <laughs> So let's see, um, there's stuff we can steal here if we want to be a dick, but we haven't stolen anything yet, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to her. I think it's gonna get us to level up. Ah, not yet. <laughs> but let's see, I overheard your arguments. Um, let's see, Ringo, ba -ba -ba -ba. where's Ringo now? Um, we are going to, um, we are going to help out the people of Good Springs. Um, although, I I honestly, like, don't really know that much about what we're going to be doing in the stream. Um, not in the stream, like, specifically, but, like, in general. Because in this game, you can absolutely be a horrifying monster person who fucking decimates the Mojave Desert. Um, but you can also be a super cool, nice man who helps people and stuff. And I'm personally inclined to go the, like, help people route. Because, like, in this game, if you feel like being evil, you're enslaving people. <laughs> so this game is actually, like, horrifying when it comes to its morality. Um, I don't feel like being that bad. Um, the main conflict in this game is between the NCR, the New California Republic, and Kaisar's Legion, which is a group of, like, fucking nerds who cosplay as, like, the Roman Empire, but set in post-apocalyptic times, who enslave people and crucify people, and odds are the next time we do this, we're gonna get over to the place where they are holed up, where, like, you see them for the first time, and you get a really brutal introduction to them. Um, I'm assuming that we're probably going to go the generic, like, game-intended route, um, aside from the times when I decide to, like, show you guys something that results in me getting absolutely destroyed. Um, I'm going to show y'all Centaur, not in this stream. Um, we're going to interact with some super mutants, which are probably going to bash my face in. Um, we're going to get super radiated, which is going to be fun, and I'm going to be very dead, and it's going to be great. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, okay. I want to find the stuff for sale. Um, okay, cool. So now we are going to go ahead and sell my Abraxo cleaner. Um, come on. <laughs> We're going to sell my boxes of detergent. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sell the cup, um, we're going to sell the duct tape, we're going to sell all the gecko stuff, that, that much I know for sure. <laughs> okay, A, 
Um, we're going to sell the hammer. Let's see. The hammer is not a weapon in this game, if I remember correctly. Um, we're going to sell the pack of cigarettes. We're, we're selling a ton of stuff. <laughs> okay, scrap electronics. Um, let's see. And then I think that that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, so I'm going to accept. Thank you for the money. Um, <laughs> I'm very unsurprised that one of my best friends is like, yay, you're going to die. <laughs> Love it here. <laughs> All right, cool. We're going to go find Ringo. Uh, I'm going to stop waving this machete in this lady's face. Um, we're probably going to repair like this radio and stuff when we have the proper skill. Um, you have to have a skill of 25, which I do not have in that specific stat. It's for repair. Um, I have a skill of 17, and I know I'm not good at math, but even I can tell you that that is not enough. All right, cool. We're going to go ahead and hack into the terminal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start playing some hacker music. Let's see. Oh, that was not at all correct. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh no, I've lost karma. Oh no, I'm such a monster. <laughs> come on, come on. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Roaming, playing. Let's see. Heavens. There it is. It's usually the one that's the most different. Um, that's like that's my experience. If you see ones that just look really weird, um, that's usually why. I also just leveled up for the first time. Love it here. Um, okay, so I can assign 13 points. I'm gonna go ahead, let's see, what should I assign stuff to? My speech is at 40, which is really fucking good. Um, I'm going to assign stuff to repair, um, so that way I can go ahead and repair that thing. And I am going to assign the rest to medicine. Hell yeah. Alright, so... Confirmed Bachelor is for when you want to do more damage to male opponents. Lady Killer is when you want to do more damage to lady opponents. Both of these are also the sexuality options. You can have both. Like, there's nothing in the game that prevents you. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go with Confirmed Bachelor because most of the humanoid enemies in this game are men. Um, yeah, and then now that the lock is... All right, there's the lock. Um, I'll go ahead and take the stuff. Thank you for the pistols. I'll go ahead and take these rounds. Thank you for the baseball bats. Um, and then we'll go ahead and leave. Let's see. I'll also go ahead and steal the beer. I'm not going to take it. Um, I don't remember if you can just sell um, like stolen goods in this game. I am probably going to look it up later because I'm really curious now. Um, but yeah, let's see. Did y'all... <laughs> I'm so excited to be able to vote for Biden. I say it very sarcastically. I already voted. Um, someone here also already voted, but like, I'm not going to say another person's business. I'm sure like my audience, we're the sort of people who probably early voted. Um, at least those of us who are Estadounidenses or are at least American citizens. Um, so odds are we're probably going to early vote. I probably will be streaming on election night. Um, in fact, I actually plan to stream on election night. I probably will stream a political thing. I just don't know what off the top of my head. Um, so yeah. Oh, okay. You're fine with me. Just like at the very least in this case saying your business, Jessica and I went to go vote last week. Um, we went to vote on Monday. We, we went to vote on our campus. Um, both of us are students of the same university. Uh, I'm saying a lot of stuff just for people who don't know me or who, like, watch the video later on. Um, everyone here knows who I am. At the very least, I think... At the very least, I think they do. Um, I only know two of the people... I only know for sure two of the people who are watching. Apparently, there's a third person watching. I don't know who it is. It's probably me. Uh, he's gonna talk to me. Um, I'm not an enemy. I just... Let's see. Uh, there's a man named Joe Cobb. Um, let's see. What are you gonna do about the Powder Gangers? Maybe I can help. Bup, bup, bup. I'll ask around. Um, so basically, this quest is you help him out, and he doesn't fucking die, 
and um, the people of the town don't die, and it's great. Um, I want to steal this man's stuff, but I gotta wait until he doesn't see me anymore because there's ammo. Uh, sir, I need you to stop detecting me for a second. I would very much like to take your goods. Um, all right, cool. I'm hidden now. I'm gonna take the doctor's bag. I'm gonna take the yeast. Um, but let's see. We did mail-in. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I did not do mail-in, um, but to be fair to me and to Jess, um, there was very little, there was a very small line where we were. Um, and in fact, we took a while to vote, unfortunately, because both of us had to register slash like re-register. Um, we had to register slash like update our shit and um, open duffel bag. I'll take this stuff. I'll take your batteries. I'll take your, I'll take, yeah, I'll just take all the cool shit. Um, <coughs> and Tria got a sticker. I'm very jealous, but also I love that for her because like we should all get stickers. I am a child. And I very much enjoy, um, I very much enjoy the stickers. I'm gonna steal from this man. Oh, wow, there's a, there's a save file. I didn't know I had a save file. I'm gonna save over it. Um, one of the cool things about this particular game is that, like, every time you level up, you get, like, a little, um, you get a little code. You get, like, a little name. I'm explaining this badly. If you look at the screen right now and you see the level two and then you see the word renegade beside it, that word changes next to it um, every time you level up. There are a number of different things that you can do that change what sort of like little title that you get. Um, it's usually just morality based, but it's also like later on when you pick a side, um, if I remember correctly, that it also changes based on what faction you're aligned with. There are four main factions that you can choose to, like, align with. You can go yourself. You can go with Mr. House, who is one of the people in New Vegas. Um, you can go with the uh, um, New California Republic, the NCR, or you can go with Kaiser's Legion. Um, I'm butchering that pronunciation, but Kaiser is a loser, and he's a terrible person who enslaves people, so fuck him and his name. Um... I also don't know the proper way to pronounce it. If I knew the proper way to pronounce it, I probably would just do that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and steal from this man. Dang it. Hate it here. I'm going to load so that way I can... <laughs> I'm going to load so that way I can try again. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh, I just want to take... I just want to take his, like, gun... I just want to take his gun rounds. There we go. Nice. Um... <laughs> I've lost karma. Oh no, I'm such a monster. Um, <laughs> all I did was take this gun. All I did was take this man's bullets. I'm terrible. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, now uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go talk to Sunny, and then oh, you didn't get a sticker either. What is it with people this year and not giving out stickers? Jessica and I wanted to look cute for the selfies that we took. Um, after voting and we were not able to and that was disappointing um, I don't know what it is with this town and this fucking fizzy pop but I'm over here and I'm gonna steal all of their juices um. <laughs> oh that's right you did mail in I forgot <laughs> okay I'm gonna help Ringo cool um, let's see ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, let's see we're gonna be able to convince some people about some stuff um let's see talk goodbye um we're now gonna go and convince trudy when we can find where she is is she is <laughs> hate it here <laughs> hate it here <laughs> okay uh i'm gonna go ahead and rest um so let's see we're gonna go ahead and rest for nine hours uh, we're gonna press the wait button <laughs> all right cool and then trudy will be here um i'll be able to talk to her uh just as soon as i can find there she is she was just <laughs> loaded up for a second let's see um bullets explosions yeah um so let's see enlist the help of trudy and then let me see there is a thing to um 
I'm looking for the thing about the like radio so that way I can help her out um, let's see why is that uh, she's just talking about the powder gangers right now um, the powder gangers are a bunch of escaped convicts who took over a prison using dynamite and luck and they're a faction that you can interact with um, they suck so they're they're objectively terrible people um so fuck them too um but yeah let's see um look we were trying to look cuter jessica you always got to aim for maximum cuteness when you're taking a selfie um i'm gonna ask him about his explosives um he's gonna say no um because i have because i have no skill with explosives and honestly fair um but let's see <laughs> Listen, I know I can't English, and Jessica knows I can't English, but, like, we don't need to be exposing my business out like that. Um, let's see. And now we're gonna be able to, um, talk to him, I think. Yep, cool. Um, he gave me some stuff. Awesome. He also has some cool guns and shit, um, but, like, I have very little money, and he has a lot of money, so it's not gonna go very well. Well, let's take a look at his weapons. He's got a laser pistol. He's got a plasma pistol. Um, he's got boxing tape, which is um, for when you just want to knock out people instead of killing them. Um, there are a couple of reasons why you would want to do something like that in this game, but usually it's just related to quests. Or if you're doing like a no-kill run, um, which is definitely possible in this game. Um, it's difficult, though. I don't remember, like, the precise things of how to do the no-kill run, but I've also already killed, so I'm not going to try it. Although, that said, I haven't killed people yet, so, I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could do the no-kill people run, but we're not going to do that right now. Um, yeah, alright, so that, we're going to go ahead and exit. Um, let's see. Bup, bup, bup. Um, now we're going to go talk over to Doc Mitchell, who is going to give us some stuff, but he would give us more stuff if we had higher medicine skill, which, I mean, I could probably level up to level 3 if I really wanted to before we did this quest, but I don't really feel like doing that. Um, this quest is going to take a few minutes once it gets started, so I probably think that this is going to be one of the last things that we do in this stream. Um, as it's almost 8 o'clock, and I was planning to end this between 8 and 8.30. Doc Mitchell, where are you? Are you, like, not in your house? Do you have a schedule where you just, like, don't hang out at home? There you are. I was starting to wonder if this man wasn't a loser. Um, this town is going to be attacked by bandits. Um, so let's see. And then... Okay, cool. Oh, you don't need the additional skill. I thought that you needed the additional skill, but that's fine. Um... If we had the skill and explosives, we could get the dynamite, but we don't really need the dynamite. Um, we're going to go through, and we're going to go ahead and complete this quest. And, yeah. Alright, so data, ghostfire, gunfight. Return to Ringo. Alright, cool. Once you return to Ringo, that's what initiates the actual gunfight. And then once that's over... So, if you want to get super fucking killed, you can try to go this way to try and get to New Vegas, which was that town that we saw when we were at the top over there. Um, that is Las Vegas, but very apocalyptified. Um, and if you go this way, you're going to encounter a Cazador, who is almost certainly going to fuck you up unless you have, like, a stealth pack, which actually, I do. So we might be able to make it if we really wanted to, but it's definitely not the way that the game wanted you to try to get to New Vegas, unless you're trying to, like, speed run or something. Um, Sunny agreed. Help us. Cool. Let's do this. Um, oh. <laughs> this angle. <laughs> Love it here. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hop on over. Um, also, at some point in the near future, I'm going to start playing Among Us. Um, some people over on my um, Discord community, which you can join if you're not a member, um, are asking me if I would like to play Among Us with them. They're British peeps, and um, they're also readers of my story. Um, that said, I'm also probably going to play Among Us with my like Twitter peeps, just because I think it'd be really fun. 
Um, I've been told I'd be very good at Among Us, but that is a very weird thing to tell someone. Um, it could mean a lot of things. All right, cool. There you are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's do this. E. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and then just hang out. Uh, excuse you. Uh, oh, no. He's going to hit me with his bat. <laughs> what good is that? <laughs> they got juked because I have the ability to jump. I never understood RPGs where, like, the enemy don't have the ability to jump. It's never made sense to me. Um, I promise you I am better at using these weapons than you are. Um, <laughs> Alright, cool. Come on. Uh, I am gonna fuck you up. Um, there. I am... <laughs> he said murderer, but, like, him and his friends are definitely trying to kill me. So I'm just like, I don't know if you have the moral authority to be, like, trying to go after me that way. Um, where are the other ones all dead? Did I just... <laughs> I'm gonna resurrect the people. Um, alright, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and resurrect. There you go. Live and let live, buddy. Um, also, apparently there's still enemies. Um, so, I'm just a random healer dude who is making his way through the desert, um, and I can also heal people, yeah, um, cool, so we won the quest, um, they're all dead, um, we can now begin the game in full, I'm gonna go ahead and take his dynamite because dynamite's really fun, um, oh no, I didn't want to take, dang it. Um, alright, so I'm gonna take his outfits, um, let me see, I should probably just use these to repair each other, um, is there, like, a place where I can, I'll take his hat, I'll take his dynamite, I'm now over encumbered, um, alright, I'm gonna need to drop some shit, uh, let's see, I'll also take his bullets, um, I have enough dynamite for now, um, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's see. Are you still alive? Cool. You're still alive. I fixed your radio. Ooh, got money. Love it here. Um, cool. Got some more money. Um, cool. We made it through the like first few quests in this game. Um, there should be a workbench in here if I remember correctly, but there's a very real chance that I do not remember correctly. Um, let me see. Is it in here? It is not in here. That's just where this man fucking vibes when he needs to go to bed. Um, okay. Let's see. Show me what you have for sale. I'm gonna go ahead and sell some of stuff to you, good sir. Um, I'll go ahead and sell you the, like, the less good ones so that we have some space. Um, I, you can go ahead and have these. You can also have my binoculars. Um, my cigarettes. I am... You can go ahead and ha just have all of these. Um, I'm not going to sell the empty syringes because you actually can use that for stuff. Um, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Mercenaries. Oh, I got a grenade rifle. Holy shit. Oh, that's so good. I love that. Oh, goodness. That is very exciting. <laughs> that just changed. That just changed my whole day. Ah, I love that. Um, okay, so I don't need this whiskey, um, and then I'll go ahead and accept that, thank you, we're gonna go ahead and exit, um, alright, so it is currently 7.58, I do think it'd be fun to go and get my shit absolutely kicked in by that Cazador, or to go and fucking die to those scorpions. Um, so I think that that's the thing that we're gonna try. In all honesty, I wouldn't be surprised if I actually could take out, like, one scorpion if I got, like, the drop on it. Um, especially because I have the grenade. I have the grenade launcher. Um, so because of the grenade launcher, like, I can definitely kick above my weight class. Unfortunately, I only have 20 grenades, and the grenade, like, this game is very much a firm believer in the idea of splash damage. So if I miss, or if I even fire too close to me, I will absolutely get obliterated. Um, 
<laughs> we're gonna run over here. We're gonna save the game, and then we're gonna try. I think I purchased a shovel. I could have sworn I purchased a shovel. Hate it here. Um, okay. I'm gonna leave that bird alone. Um, for now. The bird lives. For now. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go down there. Where we're absolutely gonna get obliterated. <laughs> This is like that guy. Um, this is like that guy who's like, strike me down, Zeus. And then just gets his fucking, like, he gets his ass fucking clapped immediately. That's the sort of energy that I'm exuding right now. If you've never seen that video, it's hilarious. Um, just type strike me down, Zeus, into the YouTube search bar. And watch Zeus absolutely obliterate a man. Um, okay, so, oh, oh shit, um, I am gonna need you to kindly back off, um, oop, if I get hit once, I am almost certainly dead, um, oh no, oh, I thought for sure that that was it for me, <laughs> I am, <laughs> I am absolutely in the fight of my life, <laughs> oh no, oh hey, I can take a hit, <laughs> love it here, <laughs> Oh no, if I take another hit, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just gonna die. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Death count one, baby. <laughs> but yeah, we're not gonna go that route because we would absolutely get clapped. <laughs> can you can you guys see why I was just like, yeah, if you go that route, you're gonna die. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if you can sprint in this one, but you can sprint in Fallout 4. And honestly, if you were able to like luck your way um far enough in an area like this and then just sprint, you would probably be fine. I actually think that you can sprint in Fallout New Vegas, but for the life of me, I can't remember how. Um but yeah, we're going to go ahead and begin to climb um, towards the actual way the game intended us to want to go. But first, I think... Ah, oh, man. No, going to where the cause door is would take too long, so we're not going to do that right now. Um, although, that shit is absolutely hilarious. Um, cause doors. I hope that we never encounter a cause door, like... Even seeing them in the distance is enough to just, like, fill me with fright. Um, okay, apparently I'd have to be stealing if I wanted to take from that crate, which is dumb. This is an open crate on the floor. Um, and by open, I mean that I opened it, obviously. But yeah, um... <laughs> um... I actually think that, like, the last thing we might do is we might go and, like kill the asshole who just like runs up to you and is like yo man um my girlfriend's trapped up on the ridge with the geckos and i was able to escape or i saw her over there but like she's gonna die if you don't help her and then like when you kill off all the geckos he's like surprise motherfucker and he tries to like got you and you have to like show him that you are not the sort of person to get got um Usually what I do is I just, like, shoot him in the face right away. Hey, Zal. Um, you're arriving right at the end of the stream, probably. I think that what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna stream for, like, maybe another 30 or so minutes. Um, we have completed pretty much all of the stuff that you can do in Good Springs. We've completed the main, like, quest over there. Um, is that the guy that, like, runs up to you? Or is that just a random guy? I think this is a random guy. Oh, no, it is the guy. Um... Alright, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to not see me, sir. Uh, hello? I am behind a bush. Um, let's see. I don't know if we're gonna be good or evil, but we completed the Ghost Town gunfight quest the good, the good way. Um, fuck that guy. Um, I don't feel bad shooting him in the back. He's a dickhead. Um... Fuck him. I'm gonna go ahead and take his bullets. Um, cool. 
and then so that's his house that's where he be chilling um and i am thinking that we actually might just go over there anyway because like there's still treasure in the ridge um there's an outfit let's see there's bottles um now hmm, what should we do this in all honesty also isn't like a super terrible place to stop but i think that we're gonna go and we're gonna like absolutely destroy some geckos first um before we log off for the night but yeah, I hope that everyone who's stopped by has had a wonderful time. I know that I've liked being back in front of the stream camera. Tomorrow, I'm almost certainly going to live stream on YouTube. There's the gecko. Come on, gecko. I need you to come over here and fight me. 1v1 me, you little scrub. <laughs> I'm over here just like giving the gecko concussions. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, here's another one of these flowers that we couldn't find forever. We spent, like, a good 20 minutes in real life just dicking around looking for Brock flowers. Hate it here. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that you're having dinner, Tria. Like, as soon as this is over, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make dinner, too. Um, there's supposed to be geckos all over this ridge. There they are. Um, I'm gonna wear out my fucking hands doing this. Um, and by my hands, I mean my man, Valentois, um, Stick, which is his God-given legal name. Um, I know that the Brock flower was in the graveyard, which is where we did go and find it, but, like, I didn't see Sunny tell me that, and I don't have the memory of a fucking computer, and I haven't played this game in a long time, so I did not remember that that was where you had to go to find the Brock flowers. Um, I am absolutely getting my fucking ass handed to me. I'm not gonna die here, though, because the things, if it starts to get a little too hot, I'm just going to, like, pause and take a stim pack. Um, so yeah, alright. So now we gotta go and we gotta find the last one. <laughs> we have just fucking bodied these guys. <laughs> alright, come on. Also, apparently I'm very good at giving them concussions. And that makes me feel kind of bad. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm going to grab pizza, sweetie. Um, I got pizza. I got pizza yesterday, and I had some leftover. And there's mines over here. So if I am not in at full health, I am absolutely going to get fucking obliterated. Um, and also, Zal, you would be proud of Tria. Um, because earlier she was like, you should absolutely go and die to me. And I did, but we only, since, like, we're not gonna do that again. But earlier I went over to where the super scorpions are, and I absolutely got obliterated. Um, so, alright, cool. Um, disarm. There, I have disarmed the trap. Um, let's see. Yes. <laughs> yes, Jessica. <laughs> Let's see, and then disarm. Yep. All right, cool. Open footlocker. Gonna go ahead and take all the bullets. Um, let's see. That's a dining chair. That's an ammo box. Gonna go ahead and take these. Do I have? Okay. If I didn't have the gun before, um, I mean they they don't body you easy once you once you have a little bit of experience. I also was a dumbass and did not realize that I had the fucking grenade launcher until like after that if i had i probably would have been fine but after i was looking through my inventory randomly and i was like oh because i have the um i have the like super dlc version of this game that you can get from steam um i was able to grab like the the fucking gun runners ammo pack which gives you like the explosive weaponry and i had the grenade launcher so I probably could have fought the scorpions. But yeah, if you're just a regular person who doesn't have the DLC, um, and you are, like, in this game, and you go over there as, like, a level 1, you're gonna get fucking obliterated by those scorpions. Unless you have the reflexes of, like, a fucking god. Um, or you're playing with, like, god mode on. So have fun with that shit. Um... It was really funny because I actually did some damage to it. Unfortunately, they have damage resistance, which was, like, strong enough that it was able to, 
like tank some of the damage without actually being hurt by it and i was like dang it <laughs> hate it here <laughs> but yeah i did the i did the shotgun approach um and i love shotguns i like one of the main reasons why i really like fallout 4 is that like shotguns and fallout 4 feel like shotguns especially the like automated combat shotgun that's a spicy sexy gun in that game that like you you feel its power um all right so now we're over here we're chilling we're level three okay so um i have already established that i'm probably gonna be a talkie person but i already have a speech of 40 and the truth is like once you get a skill to 100 you're done with it um so i think that for right now i'm going to increase i'm gonna increase melee weapons to 25 and let's see what else i can increase i'm gonna increase medicine to 25 yeah love that for me um i really like melee weapons so if i if i ever have the option to do melee weapons that's always what i'm gonna try to do um let's see save we're now a seeker because we got some karma after we went and we killed um oh oh no there's some enemies nearby okay let's see where are you oh there you are okay yeah <laughs> um so we're fighting powder gangers so our fucking karma is gonna continue to go up so i love that for us um gonna go ahead and pull out my gun dang it i okay good um there is another enemy oh wow i hate that get over here you coward throwing fucking grenade not grenades dynamite at me jesus you're a jerk and you know what i i am gonna supify you um so i'm gonna go ahead and take your stim pack i probably should increase like my my carry weight um i'm not gonna supify him but i want to so in this game um because there's a good number of people here who've never played the fallout games or at the very least this one um you can continue to damage a body even after the person's dead but that's kind of a dick move so i'm not gonna do that just yet um and zal is correct um if you want to repair someone's stuff if you want to repair your own stuff because this is one of those games where like your quality of gear goes down over time you need to take the same items from other people and you can repair something once you have like an identical item and you find the right sort of bench um no matter like what your repair skill is but the higher your repair skill is the more easy it is for you to repair your stuff slash the more effective you are at repairing your stuff and also the more skill checks you're able to pass um which lets you find alternative ways of doing things we already saw examples of those earlier when i was doing the um ghost town gunfight skill thing when i was chatting with people and i was able to get like more gear because i had 25 barter which is really cool because barter is a really good skill if you really like the towns in this game um if you are a survivalist barter is handy because then you can buy more stuff more easily whenever you're in town um i'm a chatty person both in real life and um, my character valentois stick is also a chatty lad so we are definitely going to be sticking around civilization and stuff but he's also uh he also has the big brain and we're gonna be doing sciencey stuff it's just that i personally prefer fighting up close and personal in this particular game which is the reason why i have like melee at 25. but yeah um i think that that is absolutely where we are going to end today's stream it has been really fun um i as i mentioned before am going to try to upload this to youtube um and also if i set my settings up correctly and i've changed them since the last time i streamed because i found out i did not have them correct um this should be staying on my channel for the next two weeks so people will be able to see it even when the live stream is over which was not what we were able to do before because I don't understand how settings work. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. 
I am very excited to be back streaming, and I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up the infinite screen. And also, I do not know what Tale of Two Wastelands is, but yeah. Um, I have heard about that before. I know that you mentioned it earlier. I am probably going to check it out. But yeah, good night, everyone. Um, stick around for like two seconds. We're probably going to do a raid on whoever's live. Um, but yeah. <laughs>